this is your first film. Yeah, that's my um, name. Could you, could you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, the experience of, it, of doing your first feature? Uh, I checked. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, of course. Uh, za ten film vyráběli, film jsme vyráběli pět let. Já jsem předtím studoval animaci a tenhle ten film je něco mezi animací a hraným filmem. So the film was made over five years and I previously had studied animation and it's a, a film which is somewhere between animation and uh, a played film. We using technology rotoscope. Uh, yes, yes, that's, that's what I was going to ask. So you film sequences live action and then turn them into animation. Mm -hmm. And what, what benefit does that have over both live action or traditional animation? What are the benefits of the school? We were looking at how to adapt comics at the beginning. So initially we were looking for a way in which to adapt a comic. And the way to adapt a comic is a few. Like, for example, comics are adapted as a film. So there are many ways of doing this, and uh, the most common is to turn them into a film played by actors. A já jsem měl požadavek od autorů komiksu, aby film byl co nejblíž atmosféře komiksu. And I'd had a request from the writers of the comic for the film to be as close as possible to the atmosphere of the original comic. A to, že jsme zvolili rotoskopy a že jsme na začátku pracovali s rany, jako s reálnými herci, mělo pro mě tu výhodu, že v animovaném filmu uh, já si ten film, jak se ten pohyb a hereckou akci vytvářím, když to takhle vytvářeli herci. So we had the um, the choice of working with both animation and uh, with actors, and for me the advantage um, is that normally with animation I create all of the action, whereas here the actors were creating some of the action for me. A my máme velice dobré herce na jednou, které tím, že překreslíme, tak stále zůstávají živí, ale jsou vlastně jiní. And we've got fantastic actors who, um, because we turn them into graphic characters, they become something else, but they also stay very real. And so when you were working with the actors, did you have them act out the scenes? Or were you in a studio in a booth? We worked in the studio, but we had a real place. We had a special scene že jsme věděli, že, ty sce, že budeme pozadí pro tom propouštět a používat dál ve filmu. So we worked in a studio to some extent, but we worked with real backgrounds a lot of the time because we knew that we would then be using those again during the time making of the film. A dále jsme natáčeli v reálných exteriérech. And then we also did a lot of work in real locations. Takže máme jak kdyby vlastně dva filmy, první hraný a potom ten druhý, ten výsledný. Ale už od začátku jsme věděli, že budeme, že budeme jako ten film bude animovaný. Takže například uh, denní noční scény se natáčely ve dne, ne, nepoužívalo se déž, nepoužívalo se sníh, to se potom dokreslovalo. Yeah. So we kind of had two versions of the film. The original was, um, was animated and then we had a played and then we had the final version which put together both things. And we had the flexibility then to film, for example, nighttime scenes in the day and rain scenes with rain uh, when there wasn't rain etc. Takže ten původní hraný film je spíš tak film pro galerii nebo do muzea. So the film uh, the film that's played just by actors which is kind of the first layer of the film is really a film for uh, a museum for galleries. <laughs> and um, was it, is it fair to say that this is a film noir? Is that what we can expect? Uh, ano, je tady určitá inspirace filmem noir, protože ten komiks je velice temný a používáme jako kontrasty černé a bílé, podobně jak se používali v film noir. Yeah, it's definitely inspired by film noir and the comic has a very dark side and um, particularly in the use of contrast, uh, very strong contrast, which is inspired by that genre. A pro mě osobně byly dva filmy, které byly velice důležité. Nejsou to, nejsou to teda filmy noir, ale jeden z těch filmů je Evropa od Larsa von Trýra a druhý film je český film Návrh idiota od Saši Gedeona. Evropa? Evropa, Lars von Trýra. Lars von Trýra. A Saša Gedeon? Návrat idiota. Návrat idiota. So there were two films that were especially inspiring for me. One was uh, Europe by Lars von Trier and the other was Return of the Idiots by Saša Gedeon. And um, you have Carl Rodman in, in the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And does he play the part of the mute character? Is that yeah. right? That's quite a brave decision. <laughs> how, and how, so what, what did you, how did you, could you just tell us about working with him, I guess? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 
pro něho bylo velice dobré to, že ve filmu nemluvil. Když jsem já šel, měl první schůzku s Karlem Rodenem a ptal jsem se, jestli má nějaké připomínky. Tak říkal, že ne, že má připomínky pouze k dialogu a tady dialogy nejsou. A byl velice rád, že vlastně může hrát tuhle tu němou postavu. So uh, it was really good for him that he didn't speak when I first met with him. I asked if he had any thoughts about uh, the film and he said only about the dialogue and uh, it was actually brilliant that he didn't have to worry about this so he, he was very happy to play this character.